Good morning and welcome to VMT News. My name is Kelsica Vasos. Starting today of today's state news, we have reports published on September 24, 2021 at 11.06 a.m. by Justin Reyes on heavy machinery and dump trucks were seen Thursday afternoon clearing out recently vacated portions of the Del Rio American camp next to the city's International Bridge. A large area directly next to the bridge where a sea man-made hut once peppered the landscape has now been cleared. The Department of Homeland Security said about 3,000 remain late Thursday. The number peaked Saturday as migrants driven by confusion over the Biden administration's policies and misinformation on social media converged at the border crossing trying to seek Oslo. On our next story, we have a regional story late Laredo Sector Border Patrol. Agents assigned to the Freer Station arrested two convicted sex offenders, preventing them from further traveling into the United States. The arrest occurred on September 30th as Freer Station agents were patrolling remote ranch lands 25 miles west of Freer, Texas. Two of the undocumented individuals were found to have serious criminal histories. One subject, identified as Raul Varela Lopez, a 35-year-old Mexican national, had been arrested by the Chicasha Police Department on June 2006 for first-degree rape. He was convicted, convicted to a 15-year suspended sentence and removed from the country. The second subject, Edgar Varela Lopez, a 27-year-old Mexican national, was charged with sexual assault of a child by Fort Worth Police Department and convicted to three years confinement on August 2017. He was subsequently removed from the country. Both subjects will be prosecuted for their immigration violations and remanded to the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service. To report suspicious activities such as human and or drug smuggling, contact the Laredo Sector Border Patrol toll-free at 1-800-343-1994. In our next national news report, police say they don't know why a, wi a knife-wielding man in Washington State boarded a school bus full of children and stabbed the 72-year-old bus driver to death. The family's member of 72-year-old bus driver Richard Lenhard watched with heavy heart as his alleged killer, Joshua Davis, appeared in court for the first time in Monday afternoon. A judge said Davis bells at one million. Police say Lenhard had just picked up about 35 students. Friday at Longfellow Elementary School in Pasco, Washington, when Davis forced his way onto the bus then stabbed Lenhard several times. The driver let his foot off the brake during the attack and the bus crashed into the school parking lot. Lenhard died later that day at the hospital. Police say none of the children on board were physically harmed in the incident. The video recovered from the home just a few feet away of the scene showed Davis parked his truck along the road before making his way to the bus. Witnesses say they left the area for a short time before returning to school, where he was arrested. Police are still trying to piece together the motive behind the attack. There is no information to make investigators believe the men knew each other prior to the stabbing. School buses were number four in honor of Pasco School District number one bus driver Richard Lenhard, who drove Route 4 school buses this week bearing the number four. On our next story, we have a national news on boxing legend Manny Pacquiao is officially hanging up his gloves. The 8th Division World Champion and Philippine Senator Wednesday announced his retirement from the ring. I would like to thank the whole world, especially the Philippine people. For supporting Manny Pacquiao, goodbye boxing. The 42-year-old said in a video posted on his Facebook page, it is so difficult for me to accept that my time as a boxer is over. Today, I am announcing my retirement. Pacquiao finished his 26-year, 72-fight career with 62 wins, 8 losses, and 2 draws. One of those 62 wins, 39 were a knockout and 23 by decision. He won 12 world titles and is the only fighter in history to win titles in 8 different weight classes. Thank you for changing my life when my family was desperate. You gave us hope. You gave me the chance to fight my way out of poverty. Pacquiao said in the video, because of you, I was able to inspire people all over the world because of you. I have been given the courage to change more lives. Pacquiao had hinted at a retirement recently. It also been expected because he is settling in the sights of a bigger political battlefield. Earlier this month, he accepted his political party's nomination and declared he will run for the Philippines president in elections next May. Local news, next we have a pet of the week, is a little princess who is the lab mix and is roughly nine years old. Although she is a little bit on the older side, she has plenty of life to live and plenty of love to give. She may seem pretty calm when indoors, but once she is out and about, she is ready to roam around freely. If you would like to adopt princess, you can talk to contact the Laredo Animal Protective Society. Their number is 956-724-8364. They are open Sunday from Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for more on our next 
stories of Golden State Warriors and the B-Movies Apology. Oh, that hurt. Oh, right, Sorry, right, right. folks. My name is Yuzo Puppeteer is still a novice, even though I've been for the past nine years. Uh -huh. Now, if you follow me, we can start with oh, no. so I can go home. Come on, people. Let's go. I have places to be. The sauce. It can go with anything. Hot dogs, sandwiches, burgers, subways, croissants, or anything with bread. It will make your stomach do flips. You go with anything. PB and J and, and jam? No, thank you. Garbage and garbage. Get that. It's creamy and... Dude, creamy. Baba Booey. No, it isn't made of tartar sauce. It's just the sauce. Don't mind the poor packaging. It's just the taste that counts. Now, please, just want to go home and be done with commercial already. Get it now. Get it now. Please get it now. Hello and welcome back with today's weather with a three-day forecast. Today, Thursday the 7th, the sun is shining and it's burning hot in the high 90s. Winds are coming through the southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And the chance of rain is 3%, so no need for those umbrellas or raincoats. Now for the three-day forecast for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to have a hot weekend. Chances of rain are getting higher, so cross your fingers and toes for a little rain, folks. Winds are the same for the highest being 12 miles per hour, so need no need for sweaters. All you need are some sunglasses, shorts, and a big smile on your face. It's going to be a beautiful day to spend time with the family and friends. Go to the lake, cook out, and have some fun with your dogs. Stay tuned for more. It wasn't you, it was me. Resuming moments like these starts with protecting our kids against COVID-19 and dangerous new variants. Get the latest facts by visiting getvaccineanswers.org and speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. On our sport news, we have our Golden State Warriors forward Andrew Wiggins has received the COVID-19 vaccine, head coach Steve confirmed. Sunday, Wiggins told NBC Sports in March he wasn't getting vaccinated unless he was forced to. He applied for a religious exemption, but the NBA denied that request in September. When asked about his stance on vaccinations at the Warriors media day Monday, Wiggins said he was going to keep fighting for what I believe and for what I believe is right. What's right to one person isn't right to the other and vice versa. Chris confirmed Wiggins' vaccination status Sunday during the media availability. Andrew got vaccinated, Chris said. He just told me today that he was fine with us acknowledging it and that it will be the end of it, so I'm not going to answer any questions beyond that. On our entertainment news, we have Jerry Seinfeld issued a lighthearted apology for the uncomfortable relationship between the two main characters in his 2007 animated film, B-Movie. For those unfamiliar, B-Movie was a co-written by Seinfeld, who also did the voice of the main character. The film focused on Barry, a bee, alongside Renee Zellweger, who played a human woman. Part of the plot centers on the friendship that the two characters of different species have. However, upon reflection, many of the internet may have hay out of the fact that the relationship seemingly gets a bit romantic at times, leading to countless memes about the B movie. Entertainment Weekly notes thought that the film is about more than the two characters' relationship. It is also a bit of the legal drama running through it after Barry the Bee sues the human race for exploiting bees for their honey. This led to them discussing the film, apologizing for the subtle sexual aspect of that many critics of the internet have highlighted throughout the years since its premiere. I apologize for what seems to be certain uncomfortable, subtle sexual aspect of the B-movie, Sameful Jokes. It really was not intentional, but after it came out, I realized this is really not appropriate for children because the bees seem to have a thing for the girl, and we don't really want to pursue that as an ideal in children's entertainment. Thank you for staying with us, and we'll see you next time.